Time is ticking for NASA to decide how it's going to get two American astronauts stuck on the International Space Station back to Earth. It's been three months since Butch Wilmore and Suni Williams went to space on Boeing's Starliner, but that vehicle is now facing technical problems, stopping it from returning to the planet. Joining us for more is Aaron Boley from UBC's Physics and Astronomy Department. Aaron, we appreciate you being here. What is it like for these astronauts who went up to space thinking they'd be there for eight days and could be there for months? Well, with Wilmore and Williams, they're both um, veteran and professional astronauts. And in the preparation for the mission, we went over many different contingencies and possibilities. The eight day mission was always the minimum mission. And so they knew that there was the possibility of having it be extended. Now, whether they were thinking about, you know, going from eight days to eight months, that's another matter. But um, they've already integrated into the, uh, to the crew on station. Um, they're doing work up there, maintenance work, uh, as well as carrying out science uh, activities. And so for the professional astronaut, this is part of being an astronaut, this uncertainty. Space, is, space flight is not a routine task, and we're seeing that uh, play out in real time. Just to clarify, with them being up there, more people being up there and expected. Do they have enough food and water and all that? Uh, they do. Fortunately, the ISS is uh, continuously resupplied. And so there was a recent resupply mission that actually just docked uh, with the ISS. Uh, and that brought um, provisions for the astronauts and extra supplies also for Williams mm -hmm. and Wilmore. Some of those supplies that they had to give up on their mission because they took up extra cargo with Starliner. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of Starliner, what are the main issues with that vehicle that's stopping it from being able to come back to Earth? Ultimately, it's about attitude control. It's the thrusters. Um, so when they were docking with the ISS, there was an issue with uh, some of the thrusters, not all of them. They were able to eventually continue. But basically, it, was, it, it deals with the helium control. And they think what happened is that there was some overheating in the system, and it causes some expansion uh, of materials that ended up blocking some flow. They're not sure whether that will happen on the re-entry, and that's one of the things that they're trying to figure out. Attitude control is incredibly important for that re-entry and getting the spacecraft configured in just the right way for safety. So they have to make sure that that's done right well. So depending on how long it takes Starliner to get fixed, if it can get fixed, are there other options yeah. to get the two astronauts back to Earth? Well, there are, um, and you know, with Starliner, it's, it's just a matter of understanding whether it's within the mission parameters. And Starliner remains the uh, emergency return. So if there were a decompression event, for example, some, uh, a meteorite or a piece of space junk punctured the ISS and all the astronauts had to return quickly, they would still come back in Starliner at this time. Um, but if they, if NASA and Boeing decide that, you know what, this is not going to happen with Starliner for the return, then the idea is to integrate them into Crew-9, the SpaceX vehicle that will launch um, uh, some, sometime in September, depending on how quickly they are able to make the decision. And they're going to fly then um, em uh, empty two seats um, and with that carry new spacesuits so that they'd be able to uh, come back with uh, the Crew-9 Dragon. Quite a commute and quite a wait. Aaron Boley, we appreciate yeah. your time and your perspective. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me.